What is up guys, Mr. Wobby HD here, bringing you another episode of Contract Frenzy. So uh, this is episode 4 now, I think. Uh, it's not 5, no, yeah, it is 4. Episode 4, you can probably tell by the title, this is episode 4. Anyway, we start off by giving Hing uh, Higgins a fitness card as he's very low on fitness. But other than that, we jump straight into another match. And we uh, g come up against another gold team. But uh, since I have a full gold team now, it doesn't really matter that much. Uh, well, full other than three bronze players. But yeah, we go up against this guy. And he has Fernando Lorente. He has Jose Callahan with the pace. Essien, uh, Simao, Busquets. Uh, Busquets. I don't know whether it's Busquets or Busquets. Busquets just sounds really uh, odd and awkward to say. But uh, anyway, he starts off goal by powering it past Tim Krull at the near post. Which is a bit of a disappointing goal to let in by Tim Krull. I mean, I expect him to save goals like that. I mean, uh, shouldn't really be beaten from near posts like that, from that distance anyway. But anyway, uh, Kenwin Jones using his pace to quickly turn around and powers it into the uh, bottom right hand corner. Great finish there, just sliding past the goalkeeper. And I just go ahead and turn off my notifications because... Uh, find it quite annoying when I'm playing a game. But anyway, Petrov with an, another fantastic long shot. He must be on like seven, eight goals now for us. I mean, and all of them must be long shots. He's just such a good long shot taker. I mean, I've tried taking uh, uh, taking shots from like near enough halfway line and have all been on target. But um, yeah, very, very good player indeed. But yeah, that's how it ended. 2-1 to us. Kevin Joe's getting man of the match. And uh, we get 545 coins, obviously contributing towards the players that um, will run out of contract. And uh, we also get 8 points in Division 4. So we find out, we come back to find out that Simek is out of contract, so, uh, one of our last bronze players remaining. And, uh, so we just discard, uh, not discard him, send him back to our club and we pick up Azzy Pilcul, I can't even pronounce his name, but he's right back for Chelsea and he's from Spain. And uh, he'll fit perfectly well in our team with our um, Spanish bronze centre back and uh, all the other uh, box Premier League links. And we also pick up a fitness card just for uh, Santon, just make the last of his last few games as he's on something like 60 fitness. I know we should really go on Higgins as he's very, very poor fitness still. He's got like 70 odd. But uh, either either, we put on Santon's, uh, Santon. And we go against this, uh, this guy who's got a team. Uh, Barclays Premier League team with Defoe and uh, Bent and Hoylet and Zogbia, Vertonghen, lots of good players in there and uh, I'm actually thinking of getting Vertonghen in this team but we start off the goals with a fantastic head up from Kenwin Jones just to uh, give us a head start 1-0 in the 25th minute and then we also get a second goal uh, with Whitehead powering through and taking his shot and going on the left of the goalkeeper in the 35th minute to give us a 2-0 lead. So, uh, very good lead there. Uh, very good goals by Kenwin Jones and Whitehead. But then we stupidly give away possession from this uh, free kick and he just tramps it across to Defoe who just finishes it uh, for an easy tapping goal. From uh, my mistake, really, my fault for that goal. Should have really blasted it out somewhere in the field, but uh, never mind. But uh, yeah, we get another goal here. Kenwin Jones finding the space to pass to Shane Long. I think that's his name, Shane Long. Anyway, I've been saying Shane Long throughout this whole series, but uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, so easy tapping header there. So uh, second header of the game, I think. Or is it the third? I don't, I'm not too sure. I think I'm losing it, but uh, still. Santon uh, passing to Petrov. Petrov. Finds the space to take another fantastic long shot. And it goes in the top right-hand corner. Another awesome goal from him. He's just our star player. He's got to be our top goal scorer. Uh, either him or Akpa Akpro. Uh, probably better than Ak Akpa Akpro. But, uh, yeah, that's how it ended. I think it was 4-1 in the end. 4-1, yeah, there you go. Petrov, Long, Whitehead, and Kenwin Jones getting on the score sheet for us. And the Giroud pick up man the match. It's a bit awkward for, uh, a bit strange for a defender pick up man match but uh, yeah we get our coins and we get 11 points and uh, so we are moving up into division 3 but uh, we've still got 4 games left so we can see if we can win the title and we come back and find that Tim Krull is out of contract so I am uh, starting to work just to discard him or try and put him up I decide to put him up just to see if we actually get any coins uh, so I put him up for how much you got him for, 500 coins, and uh, he pretty much sells straight away. 
So we get an extra 500 coins to our player budget, and uh, that Baton stars and Soul Jet, so I might just discard him or send him to the club. But we pick up Shea Given, who's got some pretty awesome stats. He's got 85 uh, diving, 86 reflexes, but he is 6 foot 1, and, so he's, and he's not really the best keeper. I've used him before, but uh, he is quite good. He'll do well on this team. Uh, well, I'm, I'm hoping so anyway, and just buy a bronze pack as well, just see if we get any fitness cards put on Higgins or anything, but it turns out we get nothing. I mean, uh, how many times have I opened a bronze pack and got like, some nothing but fitness cards? Uh, about 100, and got five fitness cards in one pack, and then one time that I need fitness cards, we don't get any in that pack, but anyway, just end up discarding all of them. And we go up against this guy who has a very, very good lead BVA team. I mean, he's got Benzema 87, he's got Xabi Alonso, he's got Fabregas. David Villa, Sanchez, very, very good players indeed, so it's going to be a challenge straight off the bat. But uh, we end up taking the lead with another Shane Long header. Uh, I keep saying Shane Long, but I'm not even sure if it's Shane Long, I haven't even checked. But yeah, with another Long header in the 11th minute to give us a 1-0 lead against this team, which is a very good start. But then quickly he fights back and with Seth Fabregas powers it into the bottom right hand corner. Great finish from him really, and uh, using Fabregas using his strength. And then it goes out for a goal kick for him, and then he just stupidly passes it out, just like I did, to uh, Kenwin Jones, who puts it in for a sliding finish to give us the lead uh, by two goals, uh, two goals to one in the 41st minute. So it's looking good for us, I mean, our team versus this team. But then Davide uses his dribbling skills and his weak foot capabilities to uh, power it past Shea Given, who... Uh, just out of range of reaching that and then again Benzema using his dribbling to just a bit of poor defending by me but just powers it and uh, hits jo uh, keep saying Joe Hart I don't know why I maybe had him in my team in my other team but still yeah she given and he just powers it into his own net but uh, we get another goal Petrov tries it and it falls to Shane Long and uh, he just taps it into the goal in the 87th minute to make it 4-3, I think the scoreline is now, uh, or 3-3, three, 3-all three, three even, but then Benzema just picks up and just smashes it into the top right hand corner, pass Shea given again, to uh, surely close the match and bring it to an end at 4-3, and uh, yeah, that is indeed how it ended, 4-3, so a loss against that team, uh, not not really um, a surprise there with the amount of good players he had in that team, but uh, long picking up, uh, my match pick up four, 538 coins, and uh, we also don't advance any in points because we lost that, of course. But uh, anyway, come back and find out that three of our players are out of contract. Long's out of contract, De Jure's out of contract, and Santan's out of contract. So we end up putting them up and see if we can sell them on. Uh, I'm only going to have time to buy one player, and that is Barini. And this guy has got some pretty good stats, 73 shooting, 83 pace, 77 dribbling. So yeah, some really good stats on him. But uh, yeah, that's the player that I'm going to buy in this episode. I'm going to buy the other two at the beginning of episode 5, I think the next episode is. But uh, yes, that is the end of this episode. I've been Mr. WBHD, and thank you for watching this episode of Contract Frenzy. Goodbye.